Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is about solving trigonometry problem one. Uh, let's try one question. A survey major measures the angle of elevation of a building at 12.5 degree from level ground. He then moves 58.0 meter closer and measures the angle of elevation at 36.3 degree find the height of the building. I prepare a picture let's show what is this question talking about. A survey measures the angle of elevation. As we know, what is elevation? Angle of elevation means above, above horizontal. This horizontal, above horizontal, this angle, we're talking about elevation, angle of elevation. Because he's measure how high the building. So he measure at the top, make 12.5 degree. And from level ground, and then he moves 58.0 meter closer to the building, just uh, at the side of a river. Then he measure again. He find the angle of elevation becomes to 36.3 degree. Yes, so. We have three information to find the height of the building. So first, let's uh, uh, make a letter. See, like this is the top of building is A. This one, the first place he measured is B. The second place is C. The bottom of building is D. So after you measure, after you label A, B, C, D, what you can find. We're looking for AD, it's either we make H, looking for H. So we can see, because the building is vertical, which is perpendicular to the ground, level ground. That's why this is the right triangle, right? Right angle. So that's why we have two triangles. One is ABD. A right triangle, the other is A C D. And in these two triangles, you can say these two triangles, we can say the A D is the same side and also A D is the opposite side with angle twelve point five degree in tri right triangle A B D. And also, H is the opposite side with angle 36.3 degree in right triangle ACD. That's why we can write two equations and to solve. The reason is because we don't know this, we don't know CDC, we don't know CD. This, how long this, one, we don't know, right? So that's why we need, first let's write in triangle, triangle ABD, in this triangle ABD, this is the right triangle, so the H is opposite with 12.5 and the BD is adjacent, so we can write, we start to write the tangent, write the tangent 12.5 degree equals the opposite side is H, the adjacent side is BD, okay? The distance BD, so we will put the bar on the top. Then in triangle ACD, the tangent 36.3 degree 
equals to opposite side, which is H over DC. So we can see H equals this one multiply that one. H equals BD multiply tangent 12.5 and also H equals DC multiply tangent 36.3. So also we can see what the relation between BD and the CD, DC, BD and the CD. BD is 58 plus DC. So also we know BD equals 58 plus DC. So we can make less variable to plug BD with 58.0 plus DC into this equation. So we can write this way tangent 12.5 degree equals H over 58.0 per DC. And we have, we change this one to decimal. We can use calculate to see what is tangent 12.5 give you 0 0.2217, we choose four decimal places, 0 0.2217, which equals to H over 58.0 per DC. And 0 0.2217 actually is on, on the top, it, we can write that this is over 1, right? That's why we, we can write H, what is H? So H equals cross multiplication, we got the 0 0.2217 multiply 58.0 per DC. And then we can break down the bracket by multiply through this one multiply this one, this one multiply that one. So we have 0 0.2217, 0 0.2217 times 58 equal 12.86. We got H equal 12.86 plus this one multiply this one 0 0.2217 multiply DC. This is the first one. Okay, first one. The second one we simplify this one, the second in triangle ACD. So which you call tangent thirty six point three degree tangent thirty six point three degree equal zero point seven three four six. We have 0 0.7346 equals to H over DC. So this is over 1. So also we can write H equals 0 0.7346 times DC. And this is second. To solve these two, you can say H you call it H. That's why 12.86 plus 0 0.2217 DC equals to 0 0.7346 DC. Right? So we can <coughs> write <coughs> 12.86 plus 
12.86 plus 0 0.2217 times dc equals to 0 0.7346 dc. So we move this <coughs> move 0 0.2217 dc to the right side. So we have 12.86 equals to and this one subtract this one. So we have 0 0.7346 dc minus 0 0.2217 dc. Okay. Then we we'll go to another paper. Yeah, and here we have this one. We subtract and do subtraction. Uh, we have 0 0.2217. 7346 minus 0 0.2217 we've got 0 0.5129 so we have 12.86 plus 0 0.2217 times dc equals 0 0.5129 times dc right and we can say just uh, divide it, 0 0.5129 to the other side, we have dc equals to <coughs> and equals to 25.07 the DC is 25.07 meter, which is this one. The DC, you got that one, right? We can label on the picture. And finally, we find it's 25.07 meter. And then we can use this information to plug into the second equation or first equation doesn't matter. If you put the first equation, you will do one more step. If you put the second equation, you just multiply 0 0.7346 to get the h, right? Whatever you use, which one, all working. So finally, we got the h equals to, for this one, 0 0.7346 multiply dc, which is 25.07 meter give us 25.07 multiply 0.7346 we got 18.42 18.42 meter the question only need the question only need the 58.0, which is three sigma figure. So we can write, actually you call it 18.4 meter. So the building is 18.4 meter height. This is uh, presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.